Welcome back everyone, hope you're having an awesome day, and today we're going to continue on that historical battle grind in Age of Empires 2. Last mission, we were able to establish the Kingdom of Hungary in Hornfog Lalash, showed those Bulgarians who's boss, and now we're going to make our way to the Third Crusade and make a pit stop at Cyprus. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, we're going to do all the campaigns on hard, get all the achievements that we can. No achievement for this one, but as you see, I have already done it. Uh, basically, I was attacking the main base, he built all these buildings outside the wall, then I had to go around and knock all those buildings out, didn't I? So it was very oof and a half. So sit back, relax, grab yourself some coffee, and let's move on to Cyprus, 1191. Let's go. Deus Lovolt. Deus Lovolt. God wills it. This zealous shout resounds throughout Europe as news spread of a third crusade called by the pope himself the pope himself Three the boy Europe's most renowned rulers have sworn to fight frederick barbarossa oh we did that campaign link up top if you need philip augustus of france don't know why i winked but richard the lionheart king of england while the emperor barbarossa marches his army across i'm sure Europe, nothing bad will come of france it. and england sail to the holy land richard's journey however is as adventurous as one can expect of someone known as the Lion Heart. A Mediterranean storm scatters the English fleet and shipwrecks many of Richard's ships on the island of Cyprus. Very rude of that natural the disaster. Ruler, Very rude. The rebellious Byzantine lord, Isaac Komenos, has taken the stranded English prisoner. Among the captured is Richard's very own sister. How dare you, Isaac? Richard is determined to punish Komenos for this insult. But he also sees opportunity in these unfortunate events. A series of them, you Cyprus could say. is an island of great strategic value. If the English can capture it, Cyprus could be used as a naval base for the crusade and raids on the wealthy Muslim trade ships. Naval base, indeed. Force Isaac Komnenos to surrender by defeating Nicosia. Take the city of Limassol by destroying its castle. Search for the shipwrecked English soldiers and boats. Destroy the harbour fortress of the Nicosia fleet to obtain additional gold, which we'll be doing first. Trust me, you want to do that. Richard the Lionheart begins a mission in the Imperial Age, but is restricted to a population of 125. Explore the landscape, especially the coastline. Some English soldiers may have survived the thunderstorm and will await rescue. You urgently need a base from which to take further action. Concentrate on conquering Limassol before launching attacks against Nicosia. Building a fishing fleet is advisable as the ocean offers much food. Richard the Lionheart commands a considerable fleet and is poised to take Limassol, but he additionally has neither villages nor a camp. The port city of Limassol is located in the east. It can be attacked from both land and sea, but an experienced garrison in consistent, uh, consisting mainly of spearmen, skirmishers, knights, and archers will defend it. Isaac Komnenos holds Nicosia. The heavily fortified city is located in the north and it has a formidable naval base in the west. The army of Nicosia consists of skirmishes, cataphracts, infantry, and onagers. Isaac Komnenos may also decide to construct Rebuches. The usurper Isaac Komnenos has imprisoned my sister in Nicosia. How dare you? We will be revenged for this. We will show. be revenged. The inhabitants of Cyprus will quake with fear once we have landed. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get our offensive fleet units gonna bring him down here and there's a galley down here a couple of galleys down here oh, and we've got the two galleys over here excellent group one we'll just uh, sail them towards the uh, coast a bit up here-ish and then as you see a little island here just bring our transport ships over I suppose uh, let's just you know oh no the storm came back and got rid of my onager whatever will I do put these boys on the fleet on the uh, transport ship bring them over here as you see this little shipwreck here that's where you know where your units are we're gonna bring my fleet just kind of down here we're gonna start swinging and while we do that let's talk uh the britons a foot archer civilization town centers cost 50 percent less wood starting in the castle age foot archers except for skirmishes have an extra one range in castle and one range in imperial so two in total and shepherds work 25 percent faster longbowmen is your unique unit which is the archer boy there uh, Yeoman, one foot archer range and two tower attacks. So I think that means it's three total extra range, which is kind of uh, kind of nuts to think about. And Warwolf, trebuchets will do blast damage and archery ranges work 10% faster. So basically we'll probably, um, what we're going to do is, as you see our fleet units are coming up, we're just going to drop everything we can, wherever we can. I don't care where, just put them on the shore, please. 
nice. All right, so as you see here, no units there, so we can just shift delete. Easy peas on the squeeze. Get all of our archers, group two, stand ground. We'll bring you up here. That tower's still up, my goodness. Uh, group one. Either I talk really fast, or I severely underestimated how good a, uh, a trebuchet is. All right, the tower's down, that's all that matters. I'm going to send Richard over here to deal with the onager. There's an onager there, I should have probably said that. And we'll move our treb up. Our treb is excellent for scouting. If you don't have scout units. Get rid of that please, thank you. Nice, now we'll bring him up here. And then uh, we'll just move our fleet up honestly, because that's kind of what we need it to do. So we're just going to attack move up here. Uh, okay. I just saw the little flag there, I didn't want it to be like... Yep. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll just start kind of just peppering them. Bring the cavaliers up. Let the archers kind of do the rest of the work here. I think that was a blood, that was a Pyrrhic yeah. victory in our favour. Yes it was, no losses, beautiful. And just kind of just slowly move up, let the archers just deal with this boy. Yep, you deal with that please, thank you. I'm gonna bring my galleys over here and just start kind of... Get rid of the onager, that way I don't have to deal with it, you know? Outranged, buddy. Well, okay. That's a little rude, don't you think? Rightio, then. Okay. Just keep moving our troops up now, because it's only halberdiers up here. Beautiful. We are just wrecking these fools, aren't we? Now, it does say go to Limassol right away. I'm going to say don't do that. You really do want to... um, Because what happens is when you take Limassol, it basically like activates Nicosia. Uh, so like, as you see, it's very weird. They've got three purple units. But there's Nicosia, Nicosia Fleet, Nicosia Scout. So these are all Scouts, I'm pretty sure. These are all the scouts. They're like just in the open, like in the uh, like countryside, basically. Uh, Nakoja itself is the actual city, and any units in that that get made. I might send a handful of units out every now and then. And then there's Nakoja Fleet, which is going to be uh, this these people over here. And once you take Limassol, it basically activates Nakoja, and they start um, being very annoying. They start attacking you a lot more aggressively, and it's just the whole thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out Nikosia Fleet first, and that's just going to give us a lot of breathing room and a lot of extra just time, you know, like to kind of build up, get everything we need, extra trebs, you know, all the nice, all the nice cool stuff that you want when you are playing as the Britons. Get rid of these skirmishes. And now that our army is here... We're going to start bringing these siege units over. Oops. Siege units over there. Don't know what happened there. Let's kind of push up. And we're going to get this boy. Bring them all over here. Group one. Group two. Put them on stand ground again because we've got no units in there. And they will uh, not, be, not be very fun to deal with. Let's just say that. We're going to bring all our siege and that up. We can probably just leave our hero units here for now. And pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to get the Treb. They will start knocking out the town center. Not that you really need to, but it just helps like knocking out their eco. Let's hit this so they all kind of come together. We'll send one ram there, one ram there. Trebuchet, move you down. Down for the town center. Hit stop, and then let the longbowmen do whatever they want to do. They will just shoot all the enemies, and if we're lucky, all these units won't even matter. They'll all start, uh, just watch this, watch all these units just get knocked out. Oh my goodness. It is quite the sight, isn't it? They get close, but no cigar, you know? 42 longbowmen is nothing to scoff at. 
Now we can start moving forward, actually. Just because I want to knock out their villages as well, so... We'll just slowly just knock out their villages, knock out their eco. I think they get trickled resources though, because they do make more units every now and then. Probably here, you don't want to go any further. This has a lot of range. It actually outranges your trebuchet, which is very sad. Uh, we're going to bring our cavaliers up here. I want to rebuild, how rude. Oh, we could probably use our uh, rams to knock out their other buildings though. Yeah, look, that's just going to get shot, so I don't know if it's even worth it. And just let, just let the longbowmen do what they want. Like, they just go, yep, alright, they're coming close to us. I suppose I'll do some scout. You know what, I actually haven't looked up here, so... Let's have to do a little bit of scout. some sheep up here, actually. We'll add that to our little, uh, heat fleet. I don't know if that's, like, the technical term for it. But at the very least, it's a little bit extra food there for us. We take our Limassol. Just bring every, all those over there for now. They shouldn't aggro anything, but I'm not entirely sure. You know what? Just on the off chance they do, we'll just put them on sync. So then if something hits them, they'll hit them back, but they won't chase anything. Sheep. So there'll be 10 sheep, which isn't too bad. Nice little bonus there. We don't have to research much. Like It's all like your Imperial Age techs. You know, like um, Bracer and uh, Will Wolf and all that stuff. Elite Longbowman, very, very handy to have. That poor market. It is just getting sullied right now. So something tells me they're probably out of resources, just on the fact that they've just stopped building units. Which is very nice to see. So once I feel confident, we can start kind of assaulting them, getting rid of all their stuff. Mainly their units. If we get rid of their fleet now that they have no uh, resources, once we get rid of this fortress, we'll be laughing. I have to start sending our rams in to deal with that barracks. Uh, actually, let's knock out that dock first. I'd rather knock out that dock. I feel like for some reason they might have... The fortress in Isaac's harbour lies in ruin. Nice. Now the problem is this Dromon, these Dromons do melee damage. They're basically onages on water. So I'm actually going to just retreat all my units, but well, that is, that ram is somehow still alive and I don't really understand how. Well, okay, I see how it is. Well, at the very least we can hit them with this. Do with that however you see fit. We'll just knock, knock out all their ships, all the ships that we can. Get rid of the drone mods. Drone mods are going to be way more annoying to deal with. Yep, thank you. I don't know if that's actually hitting the drone mod or not. We'll soon find out if it gets knocked out. Well, okay. Or we could just lose it. Sounds like an excellent plan, me. Sometimes I, my genius even surprises myself. I have 12 range, too. I have 8 range. We actually outrange their galleys, but that drone mod is going to be very annoying. Oh. Is there two drone mods? There is. Oh, no. No, I'm going to lose units now. Okay, let's not do this. I thought there was only one drone mod. If there was, I was like, eh, I can knock one out. Two's a lot, though. Two is a lot to deal with. So if we can kind of bring it towards the... Oh. No, we're not. We're not going to do a lot. Oh, we're losing units for no good reason. Let's just start hitting this. Start hitting that for me. Alright, we'll just start pinging their. Uh... Well, since I won't be using these, let's bring these over just because they're slow. 
because I won't be able to do much with this, honestly. I can try maybe attack ground to drone one or something, but it's going to be super helpful, you know. Too far away to attack. Oh, here's what it is. Still so knock out their military buildings. Still so, um, Maybe knock out this guy that keeps coming towards us. Nope! Well, yeah, I'm just gonna lose units here. I don't know why I keep trying. The English have landed! I must gather my soldiers. Okay. We can deal with them later. We will get some extra she ships. We'll get some uh, fire ships. Send them out. But for now, let's just bring all everyone over here, I think. He sat Comenus's main army will attack us soon. We must conquer a base as quickly as possible. Not really sure what that trigger does. Like the the English of that dude. Like I don't really know what that trigger does. Because I feel like it doesn't actually do anything. Well, we'll just chase you down then, eh? That's what I thought. Ready. Next. Alright, so now we take out the castle. So we, as long as we knock out the castle, you'll get everything that Limassol has. So, personally, I wouldn't... Oh, no, we actually didn't fight the uh, stuff here. Let's bring the horses up. Bring the archers over. Oh no, I did fight them, I just didn't beat them. It makes more sense actually. Here. Uh, so, I forget what I was actually saying, so... Oh no. Now I have really done it. Oh no, right, we'll just have to fight them honestly. I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to. We get some extra some arrows out just to loose, loosen them up a bit. That really was not worth it. That being said, I don't know, I lost two or three, maybe. Looks up to three. Unfortunate, but that's uh, that's what you get for silly, silly plays. And a lot of pikemen. They really like uh, pikemen and halberdiers. I'll just bring our uh, sheep, and, sheep and rams and the, the shepherds themselves up here. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to get Richard and old Bob Thordomir. We'll get them ready. They can be group 3 since I have no fleet. I wonder how that happened. Yep, yeah, cool. So then they will shoot all the units that come up. And then once I start seeing uh, the onagers come in, we send in our heroes. Because they can regenerate health, so I'm not really... Get rid of the skirmishes, please. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Send them in. Oh, actually, they're they're kind of aggroed under my leads now. Get rid of that, please. Thank you. Get rid of that, please. Thank you. Send the cavalry's in. They're probably actually a little bit more tanky. Oop. Nice. They tried at the very least. Give them points there, I guess. Get rid of those onages, please. They're actually the biggest threat. Excellent. Retreat. Alright. So now we just need to take out the uh, the castle itself and then we'll have everything. You'll get all their units too, but like they're all, you know, skirmishes and, and stuff, not even cavaliers. Very rude if I do say so myself. Yeah, we'll, set the, we'll get rid of these halberdiers, just doing whatever. How dare you bring spearmen towards me. Hut. Nice. Hut. I'm not too worried about the because it's doing like one damage if that. Yeah, I think it was actually doing one damage. Alright, pack you up before you start hitting all my buildings that I'm going to get. 
We surrender. Just spare our families. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're going to bring yeah. our troops here. Ready. All right, let's bring everyone in. All right, uh, villagers, let's get some. Let's get this all going. Let's get some uh, fishing ships going. So I get some villagers out. Rams, bring them up here. All right, we're going to arch just doing that now. Can you go like on the offensive, maybe, everyone? Let's go. Rid of that skirmisher, please. That should be pretty much an Akosia Scouts knocked out. Could be, but it's not, so it's fine. I'll see how it is. Alright, let's just get woodcutters going. I don't even have wood for that one. Right, we're gonna get rid of those farms because they make me sad. Plenty of fish. Yes. Oh yeah, I suppose I technically didn't beat the fleet, did I? My goodness. Alright, run away. Bring him into the tower. Actually, if I have ballistics, let's just run away. And we'll go get the other fleet here. And there's actually a monk or something over here, I think. Villager, uh, yep, let's Bolden. just get some extra Bolden. houses up, please. Bolden. Bolden. Uh, was 125, so if I build 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, that's 120, so if I build one more, it's Alright, so as you see, we have quite the uh, eco coming in now. Grayton. Bolden. Ready. Bolden. Mandatum. Bolden. One up there. Ready. Bolden. Yay. Bolden. 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 Chopper. Oh, village is out there. These villagers doing that. Yep. Excellent. There's the rest of the army there. Still attack mode there. See what happens, eh? So we'll do is we'll bring all these units over here now. One. Mandatum. Ready. Mandatum. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that we still have 42 is just crazy. And this is old Richard de Canville. And then we got a little monkey boy here. We'll bring him up. He can start healing for us. Let's get our upgrades. Ready. Things Ready. like all of these, like. Useless units. Um, Black Plague. Yep. And I don't think there's actually any more. I think we knocked out most of the stuff. That's okay. Oh, we got my trebuchet just out, outside the walls. Put it here so I get a good kind of line of sight of what's coming. Alright, food eco looks like it's stabilizing pretty well here. That's what it looked like. At the very least. Uh, well, let's be honest, I'm Ready. I need population space. Bring the sheep over. Let's get Cavalier. We do get Brace up. Probably want Chemistry as well, actually. Which we'll almost get. There we are. Chemistry. Get that researched. Siege Engineers. Uh, architecture probably don't really need it. Yeah, but yeah. if you want it, go for it. I'm probably not going to worry too much about it though. And now we're just really just kind of getting an eco kind of running. So I do four, what's that, 20? Do two more? Six plus, yeah, 25. So that'll be 125 units there. We don't need as many on food as I have. Mandatum. I was thinking I'll get a lot of farmers going, but I actually think I'll just get these ones in woodcutting. Bolden. And we'll cancel these two. I think that'll be a little bit better. Uh, let's get... Yeah, let's get Blast Furnace. 
We'll get the archer armor because, you know. But we'll actually find out. So, what's our bowman? Two plus two plus two. So, they should be. What's this one do? Plus one plus two. So, in theory, we should get a plus four. And that way, I'll know that they are archers. You would think I would know this after 600 plus hours. But no, I do not. So, um, think of that what you will. Fishing fleet is doing quite well right now. Uh, we'll do attack move down here. Probably get, you know what, I'm just going to delete these because I know I'm going to keep clicking it. Because I know what I'm like. Excellent, excellent. Try that is Byzantine 2's boss. Group 3 will make you, because so I can just quickly click to you. Siege Engineers. Oh no. Uh, no, we might actually be okay. Can we get rid of these, like, homages and stuff, please? Hey! Well... <laughs> well... Look... I'm not saying I deserve that, but my goodness. That was quite the size of a hole, let's just say that. Okay, where's my stone? Uh, yeah, let's get the gold miners doing this for us. Let's get our, let's get our defenses up. Defenses, I mean a castle. A couple of stables. We'll probably focus on just like cavaliers and stuff, honestly. I think that'll be a good uh, little group. Group A, um. A group, um. Sorry, that turned me off. The. Get a good little army going with uh, cavaliers and longbowmen and trebuchets. Don't know if it's, uh. A good enough one, but hey, I'll take it. Let me heal the. Let's see if I how many injured longbowmen I have. So I can put him in the castle just while my monk kind of does his thing. I don't have to have him healing every one of my units, you know. Uh, what's that? Twenty-five. Twenty-four. Twenty-three. 22, 21. They're all pretty injured, so we'll just take that. So bring all these ones out. They can go in the castle. And that'll be my first line of defense. Once this gets built. Come on, inscription. Let's get... Eh, let's get hoardings. I just don't trust it. Not like the monks doing excellent work here, just healing all my troops for me. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need some uh, we're gonna need some fire ships it looks like. Get rid of one. Make eight. And this one can research fire ships. If you want it, you could spend the extra time doing that, but I'm not going to get these villagers onto wood cutting. Alright, group four. Group five, that way I can just make units. Warwolf. I might get Warwolf actually. Might be handy to get. Now we'll just uh let her Oh hello. Okay, yeah that's fine. I'll, I'll fight you. It's fine. Hey, if I don't have to chase you down, I'm fine with that. Yeah no, they're uh they're coming here. Okay. Interesting. Can you just actually like go out and start shooting fire at them, please? Pin some maneuver, let's go! Oh, fishy ship blocked him! Nice. 
turn those ones out. Nice. Get shipwrecked, buddy. Aw. Can you stop hitting my fishing fleet, please? I'm gonna make some galleys now. Yep, All right, let's go this way. Just start hitting their buildings. Uh, we do have gold over here, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, let's Ooh. take that gold then. Yay. And then here you can start mining gold. Just kind of run away from now. Hit group one. It's going to hit that. Our army is all healed. Beautiful. Now we need gold. Do I have a market anywhere? I do. Uh, let's sell... Do that so I get six. Three trip shows. Nice. Get rid of that, please. That's probably the biggest threat. Thank you. And we'll just hit stop and let them just kind of shoot for us. Get rid of that paladin, please. Paladin is very scary, I must say. Remember to click halfway through the volley and you'll hit two units at the same time. Oh, what is this range advantage? Rude. Castle Longbowman, very good. This is how I'm telling you. Let's just get this fish link. Let's get rid of the tower, I think, actually. me you know what? I reckon if we get rid of their ships I think that's all we need to do you know, see how I'm clicking this ship and these ships are not doing anything because the lead buttons look really good looking really good right now just want to throw that out there let's get rid of this tower now Fast fire ships, you suck. Alright. What's our army looking like? I think we'll get we'll get Warwolf after this and then we'll start moving. Group two. Group three. Archers, group two. One. Bring these trebs up. Let's go. Group three. We'll hit these. Uh, we'll hit here, I think. Ready. Since we're going on the offense, we probably don't need to have all of our oh, units there, so we'll just bring them up here for now. Ready. Nope. Oh, yes. Nice. Yeah. Arch is doing excellent here. You see, they do seem to have a, uh, a fleet supply. Because your fleet has resigned. Excellent. Um, whatever. Don't need those now. That's just taking up valuable population room. Look those towers. Get rid of those trips, please. Oh. It's bullshit. Get rid of him. Come on. 
Oh boy, yeah. it is scary to see still, you know. Yeah. It's still very scary to see. Alright, we're taking that out. Excellent. Pack up. Let's go. Get rid of what we can, where we can. Oh, get that out, please. Alright, they'll do that for me. Take a couple of these archers out, let's go. Start sending, you know what, I'm just going to start sending in meat shields on if that's going to be the case. Alright, let's keep moving up, keep moving up, keep moving up. Now we can hit the town centre from here, couldn't we? Nice, alright, let's get rid of this castle. Okay. So let it surely moving my troops forward. Not the best, but uh, it'll work. Yeah, we can put some horses in. Let's go, Cavaliers. Nice. Alright, stand ground. These gates so we can charge in, get rid of anything that tries to hit us. Ready. Uh, you. Alright, since you're not doing anything, let's get some gold mining going. Okay, we have a lot of wood, not a lot of food. Chopper. Bolden. Ready. Yay. Uh, can we be on our gold miner? Yay. Fish. Bolden. Helen. Grayton. Alright, uh, what's everyone doing? I mean, we're still alive. Ready. Work archers. Yay. This one's actually not going very well. Sorry to say. Sell the, we'll sell the stone, I'm not going to use it, let's be honest. Let's actually knock out their paladin production, I think. Paladins are going to be much more uh, annoying. Cavalier's coming in at least now. Alright, and now we're looking alright anyway. Let's kind of start knocking out their. Uh, yeah, we got all those upgrades. Let's get the Cavalier up, like the uh, armor upgrade at least. Just something extra, you know. As we slowly knock out their castle. Once we knock out their castle, it should be it. Because I don't think they're, uh, they have a lot of stuff there for villages, you know. In terms of villages, I should say. Quick little squeeze out here. Yay. Lost all my horses, don't know how, but I lost them all. Get the villagers. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, 
Huh. There must be. Mandatum? He's telling you. They're starting to remember. Just want to quickly throw that out there. They're just starting to remember. Ready. Yes. Got him. Grab a chaise. Rude. I'll fight you. Oh, okay, look, it's, it's going to be a futile thing, but I'll fight them, don't worry. Yeah, I think we have actually knocked out all the villagers. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Literally like 20 minutes faster because I didn't have to deal with all their outside units. Oh my goodness. I couldn't believe that. It seems they actually built you built buildings out here because they did that last time and it was very annoying. Oh my goodness. land operations proved to be successful and Cyprus was swiftly taken by the Crusaders. Isaac was thrown into the dungeons, and Richard crowned himself king of the island. King of the castle, Richard king of the castle. sailed east to resume his a chair. Crusade. Upon his arrival in the Holy Land, however, Richard discovered that he alone remained to lead the crusade. Barbarossa had drowned crossing an Anatolian river, and Philip uh. Augustus had returned to France with an illness. Despite these setbacks, Richard proved more than capable of the task ahead, matching wits with the famed Saladin. Richard is remembered as a brave warrior, a skilled commander, and a righteous king, renowned for his patronage of poetry as well as his martial exploits. Ideal he remains the ideal of the romantic chivalric knight and an iconic figure in both England and France. What a boy, just to say that. My goodness, look at that military score. Holy moly. 500 units killed? I did not think it was that many. Wow, we absolutely masked the boys. I suppose that what we did, like the early bit, we did farm them a bit. So I suppose that makes sense. Uh, return to map, just to have a look quickly. Um, no. Oh, they do have a villager here. She was coming out to build. You could look at her. Put a hammer in her hand. I know what she's thinking. Rude. Well, I mean, we took out like one, two, three. We took out four of the pikemen, I think, or the halberdiers. That's not too bad. Um, but yeah, just um, I like to go this way just because like you got double gates and towers and all that stuff. Like this way, it's just a lot easier to come up. And worst case, extra gold there if you need it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know down below if you beat Cyprus uh, easier than I did. And I'll see you in the next video, which is going to be Mansakert 1070. Catch around.